Good morning friends welcome to Jatin's Academy so today in this class we will learn about the solved examples related to the chapter 3 machine from the book Selina Coincise Physics so let's get started first question we have the figure shows a fixed pulley used up a boy to lift a load of 400 newton through a vertical height of 5 meter in 10 second the effort applied by the boy on the other end of the rope is 480 newton we have to calculate the velocity ratio of the pulley what is the mechanical advantage calculate the efficiency of the pulley if efficiency is not 100% why efficiency is not 100% what is the energy gained by the load in 10 second how much power was developed by the boy in raising the load the boy has to apply an effort which is greater than the load he is lifting then what is the use of the pulley now carefully see first question we have here they are saying that a boy lift a load of 400 newton okay through a vertical height of 5 meter 5 meter is a low, uh, displacement is given in 10 second first we have to calculate velocity ratio so velocity ratio we know that it is a ratio of displacement of effort to displacement of load here if a boy is moving this rope through a height of 5 meter a distance of 5 meter load is also moving a distance of 5 meter so displacement of load and displacement of effort is same so that's why here velocity ratio we got it as 1 so velocity ratio here we got it as 1 now we have to calculate mechanical advantage mechanical advantage we have load upon effort here what is the load load they are saying that it is a block of 400 newton and effort they are saying that the effort applied by the boy on the rope is 480 newton okay so here 480 newton just divide it so you will get here 5 by 6 mechanical advantage 5 by 6 means 0.83 so mechanical advantage we got it as 0.83 now we have to calculate the efficiency efficiency we have mechanical advantage over velocity ratio mechanical advantage is 0.83 and velocity ratio we have 1 so now efficiency we got it at 0.833 just multiply it with 100 so you got 0.833 into 100 that is 83.3% as a efficiency now the question arises why efficiency is not 100% efficiency is not 100% because some part of energy is wasted in overcoming the friction between the pulley and the bearing clear some frictional force is there to overcome that friction some form of energy is lost in the friction next we have to see what is the energy gained by the block in 10 second if i'm talking about energy gain energy is basically work done so work done is force into displacement so they are talking about load so force in this case we have load and displacement of load clear so load we have basically 400 newton 400 newton is a load and displacement of load is given as 5 meter so here we got it as 2000 joule or 2 kilo joule is the energy gained by the load in 10 second that is 2000 joule now we have to calculate the power means how much power was developed by the boy in raising the load means on the boy side we have to calculate the power so power we have energy upon time how much is the energy given by the man or boy on the pulley that is effort into displacement of effort over time okay effort we have 480 newton displacement of effort and displacement of load is same that is 5 and time we have 10 seconds so when you will multiply power you got it as 240 watts so this is the power which is developed by the boy okay next we have the boy has to apply an effort which is greater than the load carefully see here boy has to apply the effort of 480 newton and load is only 400 newton then why the boy is using the pulley so boy is using the pulley to change the direction of load okay carefully see use of pulley helps in changing the direction of applied force to a convenient direction applying the force in the downward direction is convenient and applying the force in the upward direction is inconvenient so 
दिस पुलिस इज यूज टू चेंज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ लोड फ्रॉम अप साइड टू डाउन साइड ऑल्सो इफ दिस पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू यूज देयर ओन वेट टू ऑर्डर टू लिफ्ट अप द लोड हाउ दिस पर्सन कैन हैंग विद द रोप बाई हैंगिंग द रोप ही इज मूविंग द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन लोड इज ऑटोमेटिकली मूव इन द अपर डायरेक्शन सो दिस मैन कैन ऑल्सो यूज देयर ओन वेट इन ऑर्डर टू लिफ्ट अप द लोड क्लियर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वी हैव द डायग्राम इन फिगर शोज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू पुलिस पी वन एंड पी टू यूज टू लिफ्ट अप द लोड डब्ल्यू सो दिस इज अ लोड डब्ल्यू स्टेट द काइंड ऑफ पुलिस पी वन एंड पी टू स्टेट द फंक्शन ऑफ द पुलिस पी टू इफ द फ्री एंड सी ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज मूव थ्रू अ डिस्टेंस एक्स बाई वट डिस्टेंस द लोड रेस्ड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड वट एफर्ट ही हैज टू अप्लाई एट द सी जस्ट टू रेज द लोड ऑफ ट्वेंटी के जी एफ neglect both the weight of the pulley p1 and friction we have to neglect the weight of this pulley and friction we have to neglect now carefully see here we have to find state the kind of pulley p1 and p2 here p1 is moving so here if p1 is moving so p1 is a movable pulley okay and this pulley is fixed so this is a fixed pulley you can also write single movable pulley and single fixed pulley what is the function of p2 this p2 is actually a fixed pulley so what is the function of this it is changing the direction of effort from upward to downward if this pulley is not present we have to apply the force in the upward direction but now due to this pulley we are able to apply the force in the downward direction so this pulley p2 is actually changing the direction of effort to a convenient direction next we have to find if the free and c this is the free and c of the string move through a distance x if this block is moving through a distance of x then we have to find by what distance this load will raise okay by what distance this load will raise this we have to calculate now carefully see this is a movable pulley so what is the velocity ratio of movable pulley that is 2 what is the meaning of velocity ratio now carefully see here i am taking this is a load so uh, here we have displacement of load this is a effort displacement of load and displacement of effort so this displacement of effort they are saying it is a x we have to find the displacement of load as it is a movable pulley so movable pulley velocity ratio we have 2 okay so velocity ratio 2 what is the formula of velocity ratio displacement of effort over displacement of load velocity ratio 2 displacement at the effort point we have x they are saying if the free and c free and c is this point is moved through a distance of x we have to find the distance by which load is raised dl means displacement of load we have to calculate so displacement of load is equals to x by 2 clear this part next we have what effort he has to be applied at c just to raise raise a load of 20 kgf if load is 20 kgf what effort we have to applied at c so here again if i'm talking about mechanical advantage this whole combination having mechanical advantage too okay because it is a movable pulley so mechanical advantage basically we have load upon effort so mechanical advantage to load value is 20 kgf so effort we have to calculate so effort we got it as 20 by 2 so here we got it as 10 kgf it means in order to lift up a 20 kgf load we have to apply only 10 kgf why because it is a movable pulley and movable pulley having mechanical advantage greater than 1 clear third question we have a pulley system with a velocity ratio of 4 is used to lift a load of 150 kgf through a vertical height of 20 meter the effort required is 50 kgf in the downward direction calculate the distance moved by effort the work done by effort the mechanical advantage the efficiency of the pulley system and the total number of pulleys and the number of pulleys in each block so basically this is a question of block and tackle system so here carefully see first question we have a pulley system having velocity ratio 
is used to lift up a load is given as 150 kgf okay through a vertical height of 20 meter so we have to calculate effort required is 50 kgf we have to calculate distance moved by effort so distance moved by effort we have to calculate load is moving 20 meter means the distance of load is given as 20 meter we know that velocity ratio is equals to displacement of effort by displacement of load velocity ratio is 4 displacement of effort we have to calculate and displacement of load we have 20 so from here displacement of effort or distance moved by effort is 20 into 4 that is 80 meter so first answer we got it as 80 meter next we have to calculate the work done by effort so work done by effort we have effort into displacement of effort what is the value of effort carefully read the effort required is 50 kgf so 50 kgf we have to convert it into newton multiply it with g okay and displacement of effort we have calculated now that is 80 meter so multiply with 80 so here we got it as 40 and three zeros that is this much joule so 40 kilo joule is the work done by the effort clear now we have to calculate the mechanical advantage mechanical advantage we have load upon effort load value we have how much a load of 150 kgf and effort is only 50 kgf so here we got it as 3 so mechanical advantage we got it as 3 clear next we have to calculate efficiency efficiency we have mechanical advantage over velocity ratio mechanical advantage now we have calculated that is 3 and velocity ratio is given as 4 so 3 by 4 0 0.75 converted into percentage so efficiency we got it as 75 percent so efficiency of this pulley is 75 percent means that some form of friction is there now we have to calculate total number of pulleys and total number of pulley in each block Carefully listen this part. Here mechanical advantage is 3 and velocity ratio is 4. So which term we will use in order to calculate the total number of pulleys. So due to the efficiency mechanical advantage will change but velocity ratio will not change. So for calculation of number of pulleys we will consider only velocity ratio and mechanical advantage we will not choose what i am saying carefully see here mechanical advantage is 3 so maybe the pulleys are 3 but here velocity ratio is 4 so maybe the uh, pulleys are 4 so here out of mechanical advantage and velocity ratio where we have to give the preference for the velocity ratio we have to give the preference why because due to efficiency changes velocity ratio will not change but mechanical advantage will change so Mechanical advantage is not a reliable factor to tell us how many number of pulleys are present. So now total number of pulleys we have 4 which is even number. So it means that 2 pulleys are there in the upper block and 2 pulleys are there in the lower block which is in the movable block. Clear? Fourth question we have a block and tackle has 2 pulleys in each block as shown in figure with the tackle tied to a hook of lower block tackle tied to a lower block means his string is starting from the lower block and going to the upward direction and effort is being applied in the upward direction effort is applied in the upward direction means it is a case of inconvenient direction clear we have to draw neat and clean diagram to show this arrangement and calculate the mechanical advantage if load is move up by a distance of x by what distance will the free end of the string will move first carefully see the diagram here we have to make a string two pulleys they have given in the each block so we have drawn now we have to think about the tackle how we tie the tackles we have to tie the string from the lower block so starting from here so in this way you have to tie your string in such a way that it is forming a complete loop clear now effort they are saying applied in the upward direction so effort is applying in the upward direction now we have to see the tension 
from one pulley to another pulley we have to draw tension from this pulley to this pulley we have drawn one tension from after that this pulley to this pulley one more tension this pulley to this pulley one more tension and from this point to this point also for this pulley also one more tension so basically we have total five number of tension and for this effort tension is in the downward direction clear now we have this is our arrangement we have mentioned the tensions now next we have mechanical advantage mechanical advantage basically we have four number of pulleys so ideally we got the answer as four but here due to inconvenient direction we got a mechanical advantage as n plus 1 which is 4 plus 1 is equals to 5 so mechanical advantage of this system is 5 as mechanical advantage is 5 efficiency is 100 percent we are assuming this thing so velocity ratio is also 5 now we have to calculate if load is move up a distance of x if load is moving a distance of x means a displacement of load is given as x we have to calculate the distance through which string is moving up means displacement of effort or displacement of distance of effort a formula same velocity ratio is displacement of effort over displacement of load velocity ratio is 5 displacement of effort we have to calculate and displacement of load is x so displacement of effort is 5x it means that this free end of the strings move through a distance of 5x in order to move a load of only x clear with this our chapter 3 machine numericals is completed if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box and for more updates press the bell icon thank you